Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm show you guys how to set up and install OX inventory into your guys' Cubicore 5M server. It's actually pretty straightforward, a lot of people get confused with it, but it's really not too bad. All you guys need to do, hit the first link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here to the GitHub download page for OX inventory. All you need to do, scroll on down and you guys can see right here, it's going to say download. Just click that link and it's going to start automatically downloading us the OX inventory right here. And then if you hit the second link down in the description below, that's going to take us right here to the beautifully provided documentation, which if you read it, it can be a little bit confusing, but I'm going to show you guys how to read it all properly and install this easily. So all you guys need to do, we're going to minimize to our desktop. We're going to keep this open in the background. So we're going to need it in a moment. And all you need to do is find your Cubicore 5M server. So mine's right here. Go into it, open the TX data folder, then Cubicore framework, and then resources. Inside of here, all you guys need to do is go inside of your QB folder and we're going to delete a couple of folders right here. So the first one we're going to delete is going to be our QB weapons. We're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to delete QB shops, get rid of that as well. And then the final one we need to delete is going to be our QB inventory. So we'll just delete that as well. And then from here, it's up to you. You can either grab, drag our OX inventory folder into our QB folder. Or you can do what I've done here and make a separate folder called QB Additional and put all of your additional Cubicore mods in here. It's really up to you what you want to do, but for the sake of making it easier for you guys to follow, I'm going to just put it into the QB folder. So now grab the OX inventory folder from the zip, very, very simply drag and drop it in. Now from here, all we need to do is we can close that download now. We're going to go back to our Cubicore framework folder and open our server.cfg on up. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything so check that out down in the description below www.hcnetwork.1 and this is what your server.cfg is going to look roughly like you might not have exec permissions.cfg at the top here so don't worry about that but this is more or less what it's going to look like and all you guys need to do from here is open back up our browser go to this documentation page i was talking about earlier and we're going to copy this line right here the add and then setter inventory framework qb copy that Go back to our server.cfg and very simply paste it right at the top like this. And then from here, all we need to do, scroll on down, look for this line right here, our ensure QB core line, press enter. And this time we're going to type ensure, and then we're going to copy the name of the OX inventory folder. So we just copy this OX underscore inventory. And there you guys go. We need to make sure that we ensure it directly after QB core. Otherwise it's going to have some issues with the order everything starting in. And this just makes sure it knows what framework it's running off. And other than that, we're actually done. That's all we need to do. We deleted the folders that would conflict. We've added the lines into our server.cfg. And now we should be good to actually start our server on up and see our new inventory system. And once you guys have loaded in, all you need to do is press tab on our keyboard to bring up our nice little hotbar here. And we can see it's already working and tab again to bring it away. And then to actually open our inventory system, we just press F2. And there you guys go. We've got our beautiful new inventory system here as well. And if you guys were wondering on how to change the keybinds, just go into your settings and then go into your keybinds and then 5M. And here we can change it all. We've got some basic OX lib stuff here. And obviously we've got all of our OX inventory. So like our hotbar items, our toggle keys, literally everything that we need to change with OX inventory is changeable. So it's pretty nice and pretty simple. We don't have to do any config editing. Just like that, you've installed OX inventory into your Cubicore server. It's not too difficult, is it? It's actually pretty straightforward to do, although it does look pretty daunting from reading the documentation. But I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And if you guys are trying to set up a 5M server for you and your community, then be sure to check out my website, hgnetwork.1, and check out our new partnership with Iceline Server Hosting, where you guys can get a specifically designed 5M server Windows VPS with pre-made server packages on it that completely auto install for literally around 18 bucks a month. It's super cheap and super affordable and it literally does lit everything you need for you automatically. So it's pretty easy and probably the most straightforward way to set up a 5M server. So check that out down in the description below and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.
Cheers and goodbye.